Hello, my name is Olivia Stodik and I'll be talking about the aeroelastic tailoring of toastier composite wings. That's a PhD project at the University of Bristol with um, Jonathan Cooper, um, Paul Weaver and Paul Keeley supervising. So as an overview, I'll start introducing um, uh, the topic of aeroelasticity briefly, talking about an example of aeroelastic tailoring. Um, and then talking about composite toe steering. And then I'll go into some of the work I've been doing recently and some conclusions. So aeroelasticity is the um, uh, sense that studies the interactions of aerodynamic, elastic and inertial forces. So here on the right hand side we've got the traditional colors triangle. And we can see that um, we've got aeroelasticity, static and dynamic um, at the center of this here. Um, and some of the phenomena we are particularly interested with um, aircraft uh, design and wing design are um, stability. So we're looking at flutter and divergence phenomena. And we're also looking at um, gusts and maneuver responses, as well as the aerodynamic performance. So the um, static aeroelastic shape of the wing. So all of these are key influences on aircraft um, structural design. And um, therefore, uh, this is wh wh why we're, we're looking at this. Um, so aeroelastic tailoring, um, here I've got an example of the X-29. So the X-29 was an um, experimental aircraft in the uh, early 1980s. And it used an unbalanced composite layup in the wing covers to generate a washout effect. So what we mean by that is that if you bend the wing up, um, you get a negative um, angle of attack towards the tip. So it's twisting downwards towards the tip. And this is beneficial particularly for forward swept wings like the X-29 had, because those wings have a tendency um, to have very low divergence airspeeds. So if we look at this in terms of the beam bending equations, we can, um, we can describe this using this coupling term K here. So we've got our normal um, beam bending um, stiffness parameter EI, the uh, GJ torsion uh, stiffness parameter, and M and T are our uh, bending moment and um, torque here, with um, uh, W uh, second being our um, bending curvature and theta prime being our uh, twisting um, rate. So if we look at this, we've got a coupling between the um, bending curvature and our um, um, twist rate, basically. And this can be induced by, um, by uh, uh, using um, an unbalanced laminate, for example. So if we have um, a, a UD laminate, we can think about um, these uh, uh, composite stiffness terms, uh, particularly D26 and D16 terms. And we can relate that to this K term here. So if we have a negative K term in the end, we have a negative twist rate, and this is equivalent to washout. So this was using um, straight fiber laminates, um, and this is traditionally what has been done. So recently, we have also been looking at these toasted composites. So we have um, now composites where the fiber angles vary continuously in the plane of each ply. And this is shown on the, on the left here. We've got um, uh, manufacturing methods like automatic fiber placement and continuous toe shearing is currently under development uh, at the University of Bristol. And these manufacturing methods allow us to steer the fibers within each ply, and that opens up the design space. Um, there are structural advantages to this, which have already been shown, and particularly uh, we, we know that we can increase the buckling loads, uh, we can also reduce stress concentrations, and we can get better dynamic behavior, such as increasing the lowest um, uh, vibration frequencies, for example. We're trying to apply this now for aeroelastic tailoring. Um, so how would we use toasted composites for aeroelastic tailoring? But here's an idea of the sort of applications we're thinking about. So 
you could look at um, steering the fibers globally over the whole wing structure to achieve some um, higher flutter or divergence air speeds. You could also look at um, alleviating gust loads, for example, or changing the um, wing flight shape um, and, and implementing that in terms of optimization. Um, there's also uh, potential of using uh, toe steering for um, uh, increasing the buckling loads and also uh, in terms of improving the control effectiveness. And all of this means that we are actually tailoring the stiffness, um, the bend, bend twist coupling uh, along the wing. So we, we um, had a look at this using a very simple wing model. Um, here on the top left, uh, we can see the sort of wing that we looked at. So it's a rectangular wing built in at the root and with, um, with the flat, flat plate basically representing uh, the wing. And this flat plate is a composite laminate which can be either um, a UD laminate or by uh, changing the fiber angle along the, the span and along the cord of the wing we can achieve a VAT laminate. So here we can see the, the fibers and the, the outer plies with the um, with airflow coming from the bottom of the page here. So the outer ply has got forward swept um, fibers and um, we can see here that we, we have the different mode shapes and the flexural axis which we define as the axis where if you apply a, a shear load uh, out of plane then you achieve no uh, twist at that section relative to the root. And um, so on the left we've got a UD optimum um, wing design and on the right, a VAT optimum or variable angle toe um, composite optimum. And um, these, both of these were optimized for minimizing the gust loads um, at a certain um, airspeed. And so what we, what we saw here is that um, by plotting the, the response of the wings so in terms of bending moment over time to, to a gust input, we saw that the gust load was actually uh, reduced by over 50% 50, 50 for this particular case. And this was purely achieved by, by tailoring the stiffness and the bend twist coupling along the wing. So we can see here for the UD case we've got constant stiffnesses along the wing and for the VAT case we've got variable stiffness. And here we're looking at a constant thickness uh, laminate. And we also looked at this in terms of reducing gas lengths at different air speeds and what we found is that not only can we achieve uh, overall reductions in load for different gas lengths, so uh, here it's 24% for, for the correlated loads at two different gas speeds and um, we can, we can uh, see that we have many more solutions as well if we use toe steering compared to only one using a, a UD laminate which is feasible. So we also looked at comparing um, toe steering in the, in the spanwise direction only compared to toe steering in the spanwise and cordwise direction. And here we see two different laminates or optimized laminates, but we can see that we obtain very similar um, stiffness distributions for the same objective uh, optimization and very um, similar behavior. So this is an indication that um, the, the stiffness distribution and the local flexural axis uh, location um, are really what, what trigger this behavior. So you can find different laminates that achieve this. And now we're looking at um, a more realistic wing box and we're trying to transfer the, the uh, results that we obtained on simple wing onto a more complex model. Um, so that means having many more variables um, objectives and con constraints, and also um, uh, looking at uh, different objectives. So we, we now put in the weight as an objective function with constraints on stability, both um, air elastic and structural, and um, also looking at um, gas, con uh, gas response. So in conclusion, um, 
we've, we've shown that eras dictatoring and intelligent use, uh, use of advanced materials can lead to a step change in aircraft efficiency in the future. Um, and the optimization on a simple wing model showed that we can reduce um, gas loads significantly. We've also shown that we can improve the um, instability airspeeds, which was not presented here. Um, and this work is currently being extended to the optimization of a more realistic wing box. And we're also planning to look at a um, high aspect ratio, low, speed, uh, low sweep or forward swept uh, wing configuration within the AWI um, ATI project. So with this, thank you very much. And I would like to um, thank my sponsors, Airbus and the EPSRC for supporting this project.